All right, hello. So we are at Bill's Lake Five. Uh, anyone else who have seen my videos um, will know that we were at Bill's Lake Four, um, and we've packed up from there and made our way to Bill's Lake Five. Um, so it's a Friday. The Friday Lake is the same as the other one. So um, it's right next to each other, really. So um, so that's, our, that's what we've been doing today is uh packing up from one lake uh and heading straight over to the other one um everything's sort of set up rod wise and all that bivvies are nowhere near it yet um and all that it's too hot at the moment it's 20 28 degrees 28 29 degrees so we'll wait for this afternoon where it's cool cool down a lot and uh chill out um so uh yeah if you watched the previous videos Lake's fishing hard. I already know this lake was fishing hard last week. Um, all the lakes are in France in this area are fishing hard. Um, so yeah, so it's just hoping for that one fish at the moment uh, would be great. Um, but it is warm, so hopefully it should warm the water up quite nicely. Um, tactics um, is not the same as what I was using uh, on the other French lake, um, purely for the fact that you got pass on the shack in this one and the other one you don't so um we'll be staying away from the pellet we'll be staying away from uh, the uh boily so um so yeah so uh, we'll just be staying with uh the bill's big fish mix maize and hemp tiger nut that all good stuff but i will put that into this video later on in the week i'll show you exactly what the mix looks like um exactly the same as what it is on lake four so the same stuff We've just moved it across. Um, but yeah, we're just staying away from the boilie. We've already tried boilie. Noel's put one out. Put it out for an hour. Brought it back in. Nothing left on it. So we already knew that. But we had to um, just be a little bit sure. Really? Just to make sure. So, yeah. We've done that. So, yeah. So, right. Give you a quick view of the lake. So, that's, uh, that's my device. That, that's Noel in the background coming back in the van. So right, this is Lake Five from where I swim. It's actually look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, so this is home for the next uh, next week. Um which is absolutely lovely, wonderful. I love this but I love being out on the bank. Can't beat the views, the peace, the quiet. Um eventually, hopefully, catch a fish. Or two or lots so yeah so um we've got rods all over the place we'll go into details further further into the video but uh on the right hand side is uh we've got a good lot of margins on the opposite side we have another good lot of margins to the left we have some more margins but also in the middle we've got some nice deep water so the left hand margins are a little bit more difficult to get to uh, but I will show you a technique on how to how we fish around corners. Um, if you really get a, a good way, for it, it works for us. So yeah, so right, that's that done. That's introduced the lake. We're going to finish setting up, and then um, yeah, probably won't be another video until tomorrow morning now, unless we catch a fish. Um, by the time we set up, have a bite to eat, uh, we're knackered, and it'll be time to go to bed. Um, I said it's been a long day today, so yeah, with all that in mind, hopefully I'll see you today with a fish, but if not, it'll be tomorrow, so see you all in a bit. Alright, morning all, so first night's over and done with on the Lake 5, and uh, no, would you like to tell everyone what you uh, what you caught? Well, we're here carp fishing, and I caught a lovely bream. A bream, and he didn't want a picture with it either. You know, really disappointing. You know, getting up at yeah, twelve o'clock at night for a bream, and it wasn't even a big bream either. Um, so no, we didn't take a picture of that. Catch and release, put it straight back in, leave it alone. Um, plus, then he had a mighty run. It obliterated him. It didn't stop. Um, so the telltale sign is that it's one of the big cats in this lake. Um, and because the water is slightly high still, it took us straight in the margins, straight into a tree, and snagged us up. So that was unlucky as well. But yeah, apart from that, 
yeah, it's not too bad. As you can probably tell, I've just woke up. Um, Wanted to do a quick video first thing this morning because I've not really been doing them first thing in the morning lately. Uh, I just want to show you this view at the moment. Uh, oh. Just in case you're all thinking about coming out to coming out the Bills Lake, definitely Bills Lake Five where we are now. This is this is the wake up call you get. That, that bloody gorgeous. So yeah, so it does show Noel's got his rods in the right place because um, that came off two separate rods. So um, so yeah, it shows it's working. They were. Um, both of tiger nuts, like I said, stay away from the boiling. Um, Cause Noel's tried that, and the boiling was gone within the hour. So stay away from the boiling, stay stay on the particle. So we'll be mixing up the tigers, the maize, the fake corn, all that good stuff. So yeah, so yeah, I thought I'd do a quick uh, morning video just to keep you updated what went on during the night. Um, but yeah, had a fish, bream, had a run as well. We're 99.9% .9 certain that was a cat. So, right, cat was just about to boil. It's time to have a cup of coffee and then uh, get onto the rods and uh, sort it all out and go again. Right, see you in a bit. Hi guys. So it's been a really hard day today. Hot. Oh my god. But she's come along nicely. This one's 37, six pounds. She, if she behaves, she's not happy. Um, it's took a hell of a while to get this one in as well. She was fighting all the way. Here we go. Here we go. 37, six pounds. Beautiful. Double tiger nut. And about 12 foot of water. Absolutely gorgeous. Second night in as well. Well happy. Right, let's get it back. Reset again. See you in a bit. So, good morning viewers. Here we've got a lovely common. 2110, not the biggest. But it'll do, especially as I haven't caught on this lake yet. Um, he's come off a triple tiger nut, size 4 hobo armour armor, hobo armor hook as well, off their braid as well. Nice fish, give me a nice run. But I'm not very happy, so you had a view. I'm going to be getting back in the water now and get out for some more. We'll see you soon. Cheers for luck. Right, morning all. So, not another bad night really. So, Noel's had another cap. Um, same sort of depth of water where mine came from sort of the other side of the lake and the 12 foot 11 and a half foot worth, worth of water um but yeah no so uh, that's, that's definitely definitely good that's two carp now one cracking run which unfortunately snagged up and we lost um a couple of bream not not too many a couple of bream which you know we've just uh We've just upped our um, tigers to three now, so that's what Noel got on Noel's first one to do it. He uh, upped his rig up to three tiger nuts, just to power through, and yeah, it worked. So happy with that. So, um, so yeah, we're still using the same tactics. Bill's big fish mix, bit of maize, hemp, tiger nuts, and uh, tiger nuts as a uh, hook bait. Um, so that's doing well. Um, only one of my rods seem to be sort of showing any kind of action. The other two aren't uh, you doing nothing at all. So later on this afternoon, I'm going to be uh, changing things up. Um, I'm looking to put one on double tiger nut with a bit of pop-up corn. Um, I'm going to leave one just on tiger nut as well. And do you know what? The third, I'd probably do the same, but just pink corn, not the uh, yeah yellow fake corn. So just to see if that see anything works, see if the buoyancy in the bait gives us give me anything else 
Um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, it's a little bit dull today, a little bit overcast, um, but it's it, it's cleared up before like this. Um, so yeah, it's still quite warm, so I'm happy with that. Waters are going down on the lakes, all good. So yeah, everything's going well. We've just had breakfast, bite to eat, <coughs> coffee, apple juice, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so um, that's about it really to report on. Um, got some new gear to show. I don't know if I showed you yet. Um, not in this video anyway. Um, but yeah, I got a new cradle, which uh, it's come really handy actually on this trip. Um, so it's the Nash Air Monster, I think it's called. Uh, I double check that, but yeah, now it's uh, it's quite easy to move around, quite light, but. Um, for yeah, for putting on the water and all that to, to releasing the big fish, it's much more safer and easier and to transport them around and yeah, much much happier with it. So yeah, so I will show you that later on. Um, and yeah, do you know I've not done a walk around the uh, <coughs> of the swim, have I? So we will uh, we'll do a walk around the swim and we will show you where the rods are. Um, point out the ones which are catching. Point out the ones which aren't catching. Um, and yeah, just show you around the swim. Um, I'll go through the bait as well to show you the bait and all that. Um, a couple of you have watched my videos before, then it's the same bait as always on builds. But I will just go through it for the for the people who haven't seen it. Um, loads of footage uh, going up on Instagram and TikTok, uh, also Facebook. So if you want to keep up to date live, you know of pictures of the sunset, the views. Um, just this equipment we're using and, and, and the fish and all that then then pop over to them um have a look um yeah some good stuff going on there um so yeah it's all looking good so that's it for now hopefully we catch on during a day it'd be nice to get a day picture a uh, bit of day footage for a fish as well um but yeah if not we'll see what happens so yeah i'll show you everything later on do bits and pieces and all that and then um yeah we'll go from there Alright, I will see you all in a bit. Alright guys, so it's another one for me. So me and I seem to be taking it turns at the moment. Hope that changes, but like this. 37 pounds. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, same again, double tiger nut. Our bank, so yeah, happy with this. Right. 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 Yeah, we seem to be, be doing a thing at the moment on night, just uh, just as the light's going down, we lose it. Catch a fish, so happy with that. Nice to get one during the day, but yeah, I'm not complaining. All right, I'll get it back, reset the rigs up, and go again. All right, see you in a bit. Alright guys, well, this is the start of what should be happening when we come to France. So, oh no, she's not the happiest, but here we go. This is why we have these big cradles for. So, this is one of the air cradles, so it's completely off the ground. Completely, utterly safe for. Her. There she is. Fifty, fifty pounds. No, they won't see. They won't see that way. Double tiger nut off the same rod as the last one tonight. Look at that. Beautiful. Happy. Right. She's not happy. Let's get her back in. What a buzz. What a buzz. About half past one in the morning. It's been a hard it's been a hard week so far. You know, it's been slow. But this this makes up for it. Happy. Thank you very much. Right. Let's get back. See you in a bit guys. Right, 
days. It's on fire tonight. So third fish of the night. So this is 34.12. It's actually the same rod. I don't know if I'm just lucky if I'm putting them on the right face, because I can't see. Just using the echo to get the same depth, so about 12 foot of water. Double tiger nut. And uh, yeah, he's definitely waking up now. Perfect, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, happy days. He's going back out because uh, there's more to have, I feel. So let's go. See you in the bit. Right, morning all. So, what a night for me. Um, three fish. Um, spread out through the night, so I didn't get a lot of sleep at all. But I can live with that. I'm happy with that. So yeah, thir uh, first one 37, second one 50, and the third one came out 34.12. Um, absolutely gorgeous fish. Um, yeah, well happy, well chuffed. Um, just shows you that putting your rods back in the same place. Uh, we were keeping them out all day as well. We weren't in and out every two or three hours and all that. The rods stayed out. Um, we did uh, them. We refreshed our rods about midday, one o'clock yesterday. We uh, we did them. Um, but we put them back in the same spot a little bit of bait you know I say a little bit it's a, it's a lot for UK fishing it's a little bit for Fran uh, France fishing um, so it was about half the hop of the boat um, went out uh, back on the same location and um, yeah the same rods but you still three fish um, that was in about 12, 12 and a half foot of water um, it that it is dropping at the moment so you got you know every time you go out you just got to keep in mind that the, the lake is will drop in still so it did start off at like 13 foot beginning of the week it's now sort of dropped down to that 12 12 and a half sort of level um very flat um echoes telling me it's very flat out there uh, very hard as well um that was my rod nope that's just a beep so yeah um so yeah, so happy. So that's doing well. Uh, unfortunately, Noel didn't really have much uh, much luck, but that could have something to do with me because two of my three fish, um, the last two, decided they liked his side of the swim, and there's nothing I could do. Uh, definitely with the 50, um, it, it just went around his side, uh, so we did disturb his area quite a bit. So I'm hoping um, it'll wake back up and uh, it it'll fish well. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, it's all good. It's gorgeous weather. The sun's come out today, so uh, I did put on Instagram. Um, I think I did on TikTok as well. Uh, it was raining. We had a massive rainstorm. Don't know if that cleared up the the uh, the, the air and all that, but um, yeah, massive rainstorm for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and then um, yeah, it disappeared. We sort of got into bed, and then uh, yeah, that's when all the fun started. So yeah, well chuffed, well happy. So uh, we. Oh, wait, shall we? There we go. So, it's the lake today. Batteries are on charge. Um, I used the boat quite a lot last night. So, yeah, it's the lake. So, we're in 12 foot water. So, Noel's sort of all on this right hand side. He's got, I don't actually know exactly where he is on the margins. So I'll get him to sort of explain that one. Uh, but he's got a couple in the margins and then uh, he's got one in open water and then yeah myself I've got one in open water and then two in the margins so yeah it's all fishing good so right I'm gonna get on sort some bait out and bits and pieces and then uh, yeah get back to you in a bit cheers for now all right guys here we are Thirty pounds on the nose. Same, same place where the other is all coming from. That one rod is rocking its spot at the moment. So, yeah, it's still a double tiger nut. So another one in the night. Did have one during the day. I did have that grass. Um, but yeah, it, uh, I just took a quick picture of that one. I'll put it up now. A bit. Yeah, spot on. Happy days. Look at that. That's long and. Quite powerful when I was playing with it as well, so you can see why. But yeah, perfect. Right. Get it back. Let's get another one. See you in a bit.
Right, morning guys. Another fish in the day. It's very early in the morning. But right, here we go. Thirty four two. Um same place as the others are coming from. Double token that. Uh, really strange take on this one. Oh, bloody mozzies. Um but yeah, absolutely over the moon with it. So yeah. Um, yeah, during the day, so you can have a good look at it as well. So, well, happy. So, yeah, it's Thursday, so we're coming to the end of the trip. We've only got one more day left. Um, we do have to pull the rods in later on to go and get our chest to get back into the UK. Um, but yeah, happy with that. So, right, let's get her back and uh, yeah, get the rods back out. See you in a bit. Right, guys, guys, so this is last morning, and uh, this is going to be the last fish. Uh, one of my rods um, was bit off by a, what looked like a cat, uh, shredded my last rod, and this one came over from the other side. Oh, look at this. First common for me out of this lake. So. 38 pounds, um, sort, of, sort of the same area, slightly to the left, um, came off a, dug a double tiger nut with a bit of pink pop-up corn on this one, so yeah, happy days, how to finish the trip off, but yeah, um, I won't be putting the rods out now again, um, I'll get some sleep for the long journey home, so uh, that's, that's me done. I got one more rod out, but that hasn't gone off all, all, all week, so I'm not expecting a big thing. Noel's still got some rods out, so he could possibly catch some. But for me, it's the last fish, uh, fish number, fish number eight for me. And uh, yeah, by the way, they finish it off. So right, as you can see, not very happy. So we're going to get back. So I can get back down feeding. I can get that back to sleep. Right, see you in the morning guys. Alright, morning guys. Right, this is last morning. This is pack up morning. So, um, yeah, you would have seen last night. Uh, I had a fish. Um, I also had another run, um, which was 100% a cat. Uh, a big cat as well, but it just shredded my braid. Um... And that's what happens, unfortunately, sometimes. But yeah, no, definitely could tell the way it was running and all that. It was, it was ripping me to pieces. Um, and then, yeah, it just went through the braid. The line came back, all slimed up. So, uh, so yeah, so that was me last night. So, yeah, I didn't put that rod back out. Uh, and then when I caught my carp, um, I didn't put that rod back out because I needed to get some sleep because it's a long drive home. So, uh, so yeah, so I didn't do any of that. Um, but no, yeah, it's a good trip for myself. Um, eight carp all in all from this lake. It's good. I oh, had the one. Um, but the lake's fishing difficult. Very, very difficult this week. Um, there's other, apart from me and Noah, there's another four anglers on it. Uh, one angler caught 40 pound. Um, that's it. There's no else coming out of the lake. So all in all, I think I did pretty well. Um, but yeah, we're um, as you can sort of see behind us. Yeah, everything's sort of weird and everywhere now. Everything's we're packing up now. So um, yeah, but we're booked on again for uh, for this lake. Um, beginning of summer, I think we're uh, booked on for this lake again. So give this lake another try. So cause we haven't fished this. Like I said, first time we fish this lake. So um, yeah, we'll be back again. Give it a go. Um, but yeah, as you can see, hang on, let's put the camera around and see if this works. We've got some lights going on, so I do apologise. But yeah, we've got a little bit of bait left over, not a lot. So, uh, that's just a big, uh, Bill's big fish mix, that's what we've been using all week on this lake. As you can see, it's actually chaos this morning. So, we've got up past six, um, eight o'clock's our deadline to be out. It's nine o'clock is when you're going to be leaving the lake, but 
uh, for us to catch a ferry we want to catch. We got uh, about eight o'clock. We got to be out of here. So that's the view, the view of the lake. You can see Roger in. Bivy's pretty much done, just the bed and all that. But yeah, um, there you go. There's the, there's the setup. It's gonna focus. Dog tiger nut, bit of pop up corn. There you go. There you go. Must be set up. Nice, simple, easy. No mucking around. So, you see now over there. I think he's just finally packing, get, just getting the bags out ready, the van and all that. The bivvy, the chairs, and all that. So, right guys, I best to, best make a move, start packing up. Um, thanks for watching, much appreciated. Uh, comment below if you want any answers, questions, and all that. Um, and we'll get to them best we can. Uh, definitely on the lake, anything else you want to sort of ask questions about. One thing I will advise you, if you're coming over here, mozzie spray brings lots and lots of mozzie spray. They are animals over here. They will eat you alive if you don't wear it. Apart from that, um, yeah, tight lines. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on my next video. So bye for now.